Hello everyone and welcome to Distort Gaming and first ever video on the channel. We're playing Portal 2. I've been meaning to do this for a very long time. And sorry, let me do this. We're going to be doing some 20 minute episodes of Portal 2 for a while. Next couple of weeks, uh, I'll probably upload maybe one every, uh, one or two every week or so, depending on what time. So of course, the main channel, my computer is the main channel. That is what six is the main channel in my mind. Um, I've already tried recording one of these before, but for whatever reason, it didn't like me. So uh, I'm going to record a new set. So I have had a short go at this, but I haven't had a big, big big go at this and I know that I'm not going to have much talk to do for the first few minutes so I'll continue to play on single player and I'll see you all in a bit. Goodbye. Let's light up a new game. Of course sequel. Delicious. Go and check out the um, other channel, by the way. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Violin, now please return to your bed. Sleepy, ah. sleepy. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This emergency call. Hello? Anyone in there? Subjects should vacate the enrichment. Ah! Ah! Oh God! You look um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarm, try to hold on to that feeling, brain because damage. that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Uh, brain do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. Yes. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Oh wait. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. 
And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Oh, actually, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. What? No, 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 Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. I'll be honest, you are good luck! Hello, and again welcome Hello. to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance oh. beyond oh, our control. However, <laughs> thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh, oh I feel that. See, this messes with my head. Well, at least now I'm a girl. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Gonna vaporize me? No, 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 no. Loading screen again. Aperture Laboratories. So, this is gonna be a new series. It should be pretty good. I'm gonna try and get some if you feel there. liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. What? Yeah, I'm going to try and do some multiplayer on this um, series as well with like other people, possibly Max. Um, I think Max. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to the robot thing. The penguins. Swear to God. Hey! You made it! Oh God. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. 
you want to go and have a quick look? That doesn't look steady at all. That's about as far as I got last time. It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about. No, that's right, over by the podium. Oh, oh my god. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important, you should have asked that first. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you on the head. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Surround sound headphones just works so well with this. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. I thought they were penguins. Damn it. I can actually, uh, skin quite quality, so... Because of my beast computer. Right here. I keep... Uh, I'll probably, like, flash a picture up on the screen at some point. In the video. Just gonna be lazy. Got nice this test. next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed. Oh, yeah. In three, oh, I love this two, game. It won. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. robots in this. I know there's like that weird guy. I keep thinking of Claptrap from like um, Borderlands for some reason. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Oh, 
going? Why? Why just a crazy person or something here? Oh, fuck. That didn't go very well. My first death. Yay. Right, is there some kind of thing over here then? Way to get around this stuff. I think I'm being very smart here. Either I'm being really, really stupid or... Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. 
All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. I got my caps lock on, I've just kind of realised. Not that means anything, but, you know, it's a bit annoying. A bit annoying. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Well, I think here's a suitable way to end it and end the episode. And see you all next time with the next one. Because um, this, is, this has actually been a really fun, fun episode um, to do. So I will actually see you in the next episode. I just want to keep it short because it just makes it a bit more fun for me to do. And a bit more fun for you to watch. So, on that note, um, if you enjoyed, remember to give it a like, leave a rating, um, check out other people's channels in the description. Uh, also, I've got my PC spec in the description, so just in case you're interested, because it's, one of the, uh, it's something I'm always interested in, I like to see what people's PC specs are. Um, I'm just trying to think of something much else. Um, if you enjoy, if you did enjoy, and you like want to see more content and stuff uh, from this channel. So I'll be doing all sorts of games on here. Uh, I've got some Skyrim coming up, I've got some Final Fantasy and all that kind of stuff. Um, but if you want to see stuff like that, uh, just subscribe. And maybe, maybe you'll get some enjoyment out of it. Um, I think, I, I know I will, because that means that I know that people like it, therefore I can then produce more and like that. So on that note, I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye, everyone.